This is Roofing Mythbusters, real talk with real roof experts, brought to you by Skywalker Roofing. Thank you for taking the time to tune in with us. These are the roofing masters you've been looking for. And now, here's today's edition of Roofing Mythbusters. Hey guys, Luke Wilson here with Skywalker Roofing. Uh, we're here in our training facility here in Stokesdale, North Carolina. And I uh, just wanted to talk about um, hand nailing versus nail gun. It's a lot going around right now about it and uh, everybody is wondering, hey, would it be okay if I have my roof put on with a nail gun? Will it, should I have it nailed by hand? And uh, I'm gonna show you a couple of things. It, I've been doing roofing my whole life. Uh, when I first started, I was using a hammer and nail and later on in life, uh, now later I've decided to use a nail gun. I'm gonna show you why. And um, first thing, let's use a hammer and nail. Just uh, all it is is a basic hatchet and some nails. You can see it, uh, it goes in nice and flush. Nothing wrong with the way this is going on, right? This is great. All right, pretty simple. Uh, this shingle here is designed to have four nails in it. That's why I put four. This sure nail strip, this duration shingle is 130 mile an hour wind resistant with four nails. I'm gonna do the same with this shingle, but yet I'm gonna use, uh, I'm gonna use a nail gun, all right? All right, do you see here, everything is put in exactly the same. You can see here, all my nails are in exactly the same. Look at these two nails here. I want you to look at this and see that both of these nails are identical. There is nothing different in this. All it did was take me just a few seconds left to do it, but it's all done the same. Also, the manufacturer stands behind this just as good as they do this. Uh, now I'm gonna show you one more thing uh, that's even different, all right? Now, what they're saying that you could do wrong with this gun is, uh, when I decided to put a roof on, and I don't know what I'm doing, so you could put this in the hand of anybody who's inexperienced, and they're gonna go put a nail in, and they might turn the gun sideways. And you see how that's sticking up? They might turn it, you know, they, they don't know what they're doing. So that, yeah, they might do things like this and put a roof on wrong. It is very possible. But also, this guy could do the same thing. So if I was nailing by hand, I might take and I'm just in a hurry. I just did the same thing there. I just put that in wrong. It, I just put that too high and hit my finger. There's all kinds of things that are going on here. And what I'm trying to tell you is, it's so important who is using this tool. Not what tool you're using, but who's doing it. Are they a great company? Are they standing behind it? What kind of warranty is it? The moral of the story is, I'm not saying one's better than the other. What I'm saying is, it matters who does it. But if a customer wants it to be nailed by hand, of course, that's what we'll do. We hope you enjoyed today's edition of Roofing Mythbusters. If you'd like to keep the conversation going, please leave your thoughts or questions in the comments area below. We promise to do our best to respond to every single comment. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. If you'd like to dig deeper, learn more from the Skywalker Roofing Masters on our website, skywalkerroofingnc.com. Oh,